I did that with my graphic designer. I did that with the guys who painted my vans. I did trade outs for everything. So you need to figure out how can you do a trade out. Hey, I'll do all your copywriting for you this year, editing for all your clients if you'll do the website for me. Or does that make sense? Yes. Find some way to do that. Is that, that helpful? Very. Okay. Then there's another website that's called 99designs.com. And this is where you submit your idea. You submit your idea. And then artists all over the world are going to design something and they're going to submit to you your designs and then you choose which one you want and you buy it. So you can, for like $20 sometimes, get an awesome logo and have thousands of artists competing for it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or a lot of times you pay $200 for a logo and you have 50 people compete for it. So this is a really good tool if you can't get the designer you want to do it at the price you need. Cool? And we have very detailed episodes that are coming out on Thrive. I know we have a lot of them already up there, but on the search engine, mm -hmm. and it has to be search engine compliant. And there is a book called Get Rich Click. And the author's name is Ostrovsky. And he explains all the Google rules. And we also have episodes on it. But you really need to make sure that your website is first class and that everything people find when they research you on Google, your Google trail is solid. Then website, awesome, okay? Step three, you have to have a world-class logo or nothing. So your logo has to be world-class or nothing, okay? Because again, if you have this awesome website but a janky logo, people are gonna go, what? Now you can get that from that 99designs company or do trade out. If you're, you know, if you're, if you're on a budget there. Okay. Cool. Um, but I'm just going to tell you, there are people in the logo world who have no problem saying, you know, for $7,000, I will make you a logo, you know, and you're going, what are you doing? Like, well, you know, I sip on gold, you know, I mean, it's like, there's people that, that they have a very, there's companies that will pay that. But there are companies that, that charge 50,000 for logos. There's companies that charge 1,000 for logos. Um, but a typical logo right now, 2015, across the country, you're gonna spend a minimum of about $1,500 if you go to a firm. Okay. Or seven, you know, 15 kind of minimum, seven probably average. But I would recommend in trade out or you're working with that 99 designs company okay. or finding someone you know who's willing to work with you. But that's, that's gonna, don't spend seven grand on a logo. Make sense? Oh yes. <laughs> All right. Now, the next item here is you need professional photography, okay? And because you're the Thriver of the Month, we're going to take, take all sorts of fun headshots of you and we'll do all that so you'll have great stuff for the inside cover of your books and everything. But you need to have world-class photos. And in your mind, why do you need to have world-class photography? Because it needs to be the uh, label that goes with the book. It's part of the brand. It shows the person who wrote it. Mm -hmm. And when people Google you, Google Images pulls up, which is part of your Google trail. Yeah. And if you have a picture of you where every picture of me is, oh, I'm always going, eh, or, mm -hmm. eh, or, you know, I'm always, and I just, you know, but any pictures of you, that's what people's first impression is. Yeah. So if they've never seen you before and they Google and they find like your eighth grade photo where you're like, you know, doing contorted in some weird way, that's their visual that they have of you. Right. So we need to get professional, world-class photos, get them up on your site. Um, have you done a lot of work on the internet as far as like a built, have you ever built a website? I have not. Okay, I'm just gonna help you on this. Okay. When you put your images up, do you know how to like rename a, a file, like a JPEG? Yeah. Okay, you wanna rename the file equals your name when you put it on your site. Okay. So like if the file was called such and such a JPEG, We'd want to la label it to be, how do I spell your last name, by the way? C-O-U-R-S-E-N. S-E-N. And it's M-E-L-I-S-S-A? -S -S yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Melissa Corson is what you'd want to put, dot JPEG. Okay. And then you want to put Melissa Corson 2, dot JPEG. But any file you put up there, label as your name. 
Okay. So when I type in your name, I see all sorts of photos. And I'm going to have our program observer actually Google my name, and then they can click on Google Images right now, and they'll put my face up there, and they'll be able to see all the images people see when they find me. Whether I like it or not, that's people's impression. Right. So we have to make sure that when they, again, we're building this Google trail. So I want like 50 photos of you looking awesome. Okay. And that way when people find you, they go, oh, okay, that's the author. Yeah. Does that make sense? Not snapshots on Facebook. That's right. That's what you want. Okay. You want to have that world-class image. Um, the next thing is world-class professional videography. What does that mean? Uh, you may want to have a meet the author video. You may want to have an author about what inspire, a video about what inspires you. Have you ever seen those videos on Amazon? Yeah. Okay. So on Amazon, you'll go up there. Let me put up here. World class videography. When you go to Amazon, there's a little meet the author, it's an author profile button. Yep. And on there, there is a video. And you want your video to be world class. So remember, if anything, we want it to be the iPad of gift wrap. We want people to go, man, her author video is awesome. Man, her photos are great. Man, I Google her name, I see great reviews, therefore she must be good.